Hey y'all, and happy holidays, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways to make these super cute, adorable Christmas gnomes, which are often referred to as Nordic gnomes or Scandinavian gnomes as well. I believe also as Nissi or Nessai, it's N-I-S-S-E, and or uh, Tomt, Tomt, yeah, it's spelled T-O-M-T-E. Tomt gnome, and I totally like botched the pronunciation of both of those words, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So these really come from Scandinavian mythology in general, and Sweden, Norway, and Finland each have their own version of them, but all are typically associated with the winter solstice and the Christmas season and its uh, traditions. So they're known as gift bearers and are kind of considered like one of the Scandinavian versions of Santa Claus. Gnomes are said to live in the houses and barns of families and secretly act as their guardian protecting the family and animals from evil and misfortune. So that's why I made myself a bunch of them. Just kidding. These actually make great Christmas gifts too for like family and friends. Okay. Now the supplies you're going to need, oh, and it may seem like a huge list, but that's because it's uh, for three different gnome projects, and in no particular order, those supplies are rice, dry beans, or decorative sand, rubber bands, hot glue, and glue sticks, uh, clear tape, um, scissors, sewing needle, and thread, felt, floral foam cones, fur fabric, uh, fleece, flannel, and sweater type fabrics, um, mop head, the string kind that you have to wring out, um, the one I use is actually just from the dollar store, small styrofoam um, craft balls, I got the ones that I used from Michael's in the floral area, so and medium large um, faux pearls or similar kind of beads, nude or tan um, color pantyhose, uh, pillow stuffing, small plastic orna Christmas ornaments, again got mine from the dollar store, <laughs> socks, long ones are best but at least mid or calf height socks will do. Okay, so that should be everything or at least the main important bits, but if I missed anything, sorry, I'll go over each um, project or the items for each project, starting with these cute sock gnomes. Aren't they cute and adorable? Okay, so the first gnome that we're going to do is just a kind of like a basic sock gnome. So, I have my socks ready. You're going to need at least, obviously, one of them. And I'm going to make a pair of these ones. We're going to make a boy and a girl. So what you're first going to want to do is um, you can cut the heel out in a triangle if you want. Or just cut um, straight across. But the, this half is going to be for the bottom of the gnome, and then this is going to be the hat. And I'm cutting this, the heel part out, in a triangle uh, because I'm going to use it to make their little feet with. And set this one aside. So the first thing you're going to want to do is fill like the bottom do that you're going to use you can use um, sand rice I'm gonna be using some beans dried beans that I have you're gonna want to put anything that's made like food base especially in a plastic bag first and I use four scoops and this is a one this is a half cup scoop so two cups zip it up you're going to want to make sure that you get all the air out so you're going to fold over the bag like so and then start to seal it up but not all the way to really get all that air out and make it somewhat round so that it will be able to sit like that and then you're going to tape down the edge of the bag Next, you're going to put that in the sock. 
And if they're older socks, like mine are, and they have any kind of little marks from being used, be aware of that. And so you'll put them, you want to put it on the bottom, like if there's darker marks. Okay. So next what you're going to do is you're going to put a rubber band around the top. You can also sew it closed if you want. It doesn't really matter. And to kind of, so there's not just constantly so much blue in the same pattern, I'm gonna be adding in a little bit of um, a white sweater. And this is just from an old sweater of mine, um, the arm of it. So I'm using it for like the scarf on the girl and um, probably part of the hat on the boy. What's next? Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can just bunch the end up here and close it up or turn it even inside out and do so. And just glue, sew, stitch up the end of it. Or if you want to make it a little bit more, a little bit longer, but um, where you can make it pointed and kind of bend and curl by putting a wire in it. Um, it requires a little bit more sewing, but you'll want to fold this over about halfway here. So, I don't know if you guys can see the, the line right there. We're gonna cut that down to make this more of um, an, a pointed hat, an angle, um, and then use the top piece, stitch it here, and use it to make it longer. Okay, I'm going to turn it inside out also for now. The first thing you're going to do is lay that open and then take this and sometimes it might not be the same size and that's okay. So you're going to want to stitch this. You can just stitch it by hand if you have fabric glue. I guess you could use that too but the stitching is better. Okay, and now that you have the top piece on you're going to, the part that you cut open, um, you're just going to stitch it closed all the way to the top. So with that finished, you're going to want to turn them right side out and you can see I added the white to this one. Okay, now you're going to want to stuff him with some stuffing, not too much, you don't want to overstuff it say but um you definitely want to give it some shape then you're going to take some floral wire um or any kind of wire but that's a decent uh gauge and and you're just going to kind of push it up through the center all the way to the top and once you have the wire in the ones that you want to be able to form then you'll be able to kind of make the little kind of crookedy look that gnome hats have sometimes. Okay, now you're going to want to put those aside for just a second and coming back to the bottom parts. Um, you're going to want to start on adding the, the hair and the noses. Okay, for the boy gnome, you're going to want to um, pick out some kind of, I guess, um, beard looking faux fur. And the way that I cut this, as you can see, it's kind of almost a diamond shape for the main piece. And then to kind of have two side pieces, it'll be like sort of a sort of a mustache, I guess, a little bit triangular. And you're just going to glue them on. And I just start with the, the top and you want to put it down right about there like that, and then glue the rest down. Okay, and then put the side pieces on. Okay, and kind of fluff it out. And then for the nose, it's gonna be the same kind of 
way you're gonna do the nose for the, both the boy and the girl. But you're gonna wanna take like some little pantyhose footies and like, um, a st what I'm using is a little styrofoam um, ball. You could use like a wood bead or a regular bead or just even stuff it with some stuffing if you want to, but you're gonna cut this in half. And then you're going to just wrap this around the styrofoam ball. And I just rubber, rubber band it. Like this. And then you're just gonna glue it on right there. And then for the girl, we're gonna add, so she's not gonna have a beard, she's gonna have like a scarf. That's what the other piece of this is for. And you're gonna wanna probably cut this part down a little. So you kinda... And then for the girl, you're going to put some braids on her instead. And I used just some hair extensions that I had. I cut them down and braided them. I didn't know how long I'd need them to be. Okay, now we're gonna add the hats. So I find with the wire part, if you loop it around this, if you're able to, it uh, it helps. Okay, and then I just put a little glue around it. And then just pull the top part of the cap all the way up to the nose so it looks like it's covering his eyes almost. Or is, but yeah. And then you're just gonna glue the sides of the hat down. Okay, and we'll do the girls and then we'll show you these fully standing and we'll add little feet too. So here, and we're just gonna do the same thing to attach uh, the girls. Okay, so if you wanna put some feet on your gnomes, uh, you just want to want to get a little, these are just little styrofoam glitter decorations that I had. Um, I don't know the size, but you could use wood beads, um, or like before even I said with the nose uh, stuffing, and or styrofoam little balls. So you're just going to want to cover it with the same, I prefer the same at least, um, material that most of your gnome is made out of. And you're just going to want to uh, wrap around the material, just like you did with the nose, and glue them to the bottom. Okay, so for this one, you're going to be using the cones, and we're going to do another boy and girl one. And the first thing you're going to want to do is, with the cones, see how I did this one already? What I did here is I cut out a square and added some sand from the dollar store to it, and then put some hot glue right around the edges and some tape over it to help add um, some weight so you can see... It helps add stability to it so it doesn't like tip over because see it's one. So I already drew out the, um, the square and you want to go about an inch deep is fine. Okay, now we're going to add in the sand and you want it just flush level with the bottom of the rest of the cone. Okay, and then you're going to add or take a hot glue gun and just outline or line the edge of the square or where you just put the sand with hot glue. And now you're going to place some tape over the top of it. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to, I already cut out 
some felt pieces the size of the bottom and I'm going to glue those to the bottom of each one. Okay, now that that's done, you're going to want to cover them with the materials. Um, I'm going to do them a slightly different um, since one's going to be a girl and the other will be a boy. So, okay. And this is also going to be the same fabric that the, um, the hats are made out of too. So this is going to be pretty simple. You're just going to roll it up. For the other one, it's going to be the um, the same thing, but I'm going to do most of it like a, with a white because she's going to have a scarf of this color on. And now you're going to want to start adding the beard and the braids. So to do that, you're going to take the mop from the dollar store. And uh, I've seen people like cutting these off, but it's really not necessary because you can either um, even just pull these out like so or pop off this thing right here. So first you're going to want to figure out how much you're going to need for I guess the braids because then the rest can go for the beard. Okay. and. So what I ended up using was nine um, pieces of the mop string and braided them three in each piece of the braid and then I'm going to glue it right here on top and we're going to move on to the boy one for now too, doing his beard. So with this you're going to want to just first figure out about the length that you want to start with and then cut a bunch of that length and then just start gluing them on. and in like um, one row above the other. Okay. And so now you can see for the nose, I also just put some of the mop um, strings around it to make kind of like, I don't know, like the mustache part or whatever. And then I'm just going to glue it on right here. And then for the girl, first you're going to um, put her scarf on. So you're going to want to take a piece of fabric about um, 24 inches. And you're going to wrap it around her like a scarf. Wrap it and tie it for this one. Okay, so that's what I decided on. And then you're going to put the nose like it's just kind of poking out from the scarf like that now last the hat so i already did one it's got a little jingle bell on it this was very simple i'm gonna start with a a square or about a square piece of the same fabric and fold it in half you're just gonna cut diagonally but not corner to corner, you're going to um, go about, I don't know, an inch off of this corner down to this corner. There's that. Looks like a little bell. And I'm just, I just super glued, or not super glued, I'm sorry, hot glued um, this one. And you're just going to want to fold one side over the other. And I start with the top and then just work your way down and then you're going to want to cut off that right there straight and then for the top i just kind of glued it down like so it was still into a point and then i took a bell a jingle bell added a bit of hot glue to the very tip again and the bell so you're going to want to stuff it a little bit with stuffing again, um, just just slightly so it sits on top a little and uh, has a little bit of form. And now we're going to add the hat on so that the stuffing helps keep it 
the top and then you're just going to basically come here glue it down okay there's the boy okay and let's do you now the girl's hat and then glue it on You're gonna want to start with some. Um, I did these are just like some plastic ornaments that I had from the dollar store, and I don't know what size they are like one, one inch, one and a half inch, but some smaller size little plastic um, ornament bulbs and some fabric. You're gonna actually glue the fabric around as smoothly as possible. And you don't necessarily have to go all the way to the top, but you want to at least get pretty close to it, especially for the girl ones. Um, the boy ones aren't so important, but you still want to get relatively close. Okay, so that's the first step. Okay, so now we're gonna do the hat, which is gonna be the same for, um, for both of the boy and the girl. They look something like this and it's just a half a circle basically well it is a half a circle and you're just gonna fold it over doesn't matter which side um, to overlap it's up to you do you want to get the top pretty close with just a little tiny hole there and then I put just a little double of glue there first. Okay, and then I just go and glue around the inside of it um, lately. Okay, so that should fit not like that. Okay, you're done. Okay, so now for adding the hair for the boys and the girls. Okay, so for the boys, they're just gonna use some um, fur material. This is what I use for the other ones that I've made. Uh, however, um, I would not suggest it. It's a little bit messy and it just seems to fall apart quite easily. But since I already started with it, I just figured I'd stick with it. But um, you're just gonna make some little pieces and I like pull these over. It doesn't have to be very big. Like this actually is probably plenty. for the boys so set that aside real quick and let's put the hair on the girls so I just have a couple little braids again that I made with um, some yarn and you're just going to find the spot you want to be for the front and glue them on about about like right there and now we're gonna add the nose. So for these ones, I just use um, like a, a little bit larger like faux pearl. And you're just gonna place the nose just under where the hat would sit. So you might wanna take a hat real fast and just see. Okay, you can see that right about there. Okay, and from here, you're just going to glue a hat on them as well. Okay, and the very last thing that I'm going to add on is a little bell to the top. And then to hang them, okay, so what I did is I just took um, some Christmas ornament hooks and I just put it around the bell here. Like that. And you're done.
horrible. But if these little gnomes are supposed to be the types of gift bearers or givers similar to Santa Claus, then I want to know how they break into people's home undetected while blindfolded by their hats. It's probably more mysterious than how the bowl filled with jelly red suited old guy fits down the chimneys, even the chimneyless homes. Anywho, if you enjoyed this video, please select the thumbs up to like it, and if you would like to subscribe uh, to my channel and haven't yet, then click the subscription button below as well as the bell icon next to it if you'd like to receive notifications for when I post new videos. Leave any questions you have on this tutorial or share ways that you um, have made these delightful little gnomes in the comment section. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Have a happy holidays and I will see you next video. Alright, bye.